Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Happy Earth Day. And what better way to spend Earth Day than by being over here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And not only is it Earth Day, today is Animal Kingdom's birthday, 21st birthday. It was open on this day, April 22nd, 1998. It's finally able to drink. Animal Kingdom is able to drink. But today I'm gonna to be doing every single opening day attraction. So I have a couple fast passes planned. And also I'm gonna be walking around the park, seeing if there's any special 21st anniversary things, special pictures, characters walking around and stuff like that. So it should be a pretty fun time. I think these uh, little banners are new. Party for the planet. I'm not sure. I think they're new. I think these were the, they had the 20th anniversary uh, things up here now, but now that it's 21 they can't have those yeah there's a bunch of people out here dancing around playing music they have a uh, these party for the planet little signs up still walkers and here's divine i've never seen divine look like this before usually she's just like all green but she has flowers all over her i've never seen this before and there it is happy birthday animal kingdom happy birthday tree of life they still have a few 20th um anniversary signs up need to take those down pretty soon probably gonna replace it with the party for the planet it's always a party over here in harambe i'm over here in the mombosa marketplace in africa and imagineer joe Rody, who's like one of the lead imagineers for animal kingdom as well as pandora and guardians of the galaxy and so many other um, disney projects he's here meeting right now but you have to like buy a picture basically to get a autograph and a picture um so i'm not gonna do that because like 55 dollars but it's really cool just to see him he's created so so much of this stuff but there he is over there meeting and greeting with some people i wish i could meet him but i don't have 55 bucks but it looks like they are starting like a lion king celebration for the new movie that's coming out so they have a uh, new spirit jersey. I've never seen this spirit jersey before. Hakuna Matata and some ears. I've never seen those or those ones before. But I love the Lion King. Lion King is my favorite movie of all time. So, And yeah, basically this whole room over here, the main gift shop in Africa, is basically all the Lion King. The Tree of Life garden where you can walk around the Tree of Life and see the up close and different animals like these kangaroos right here it's back open it was closed for a while for refurbishment and also the otter exhibit is back open too that was closed for a while look at how close you can get to the tree of life i'm literally right here i can come up i can touch it Just check out how detailed the tree is like every time i look i see a new animal that i didn't see before everyone in the comments type happy birthday animal chemo so over here at Animal Kingdom, there are seven opening day attractions that are still here at the park, but only six of them are operating. So let me tell you the seven opening day attractions that are still here today. The first is It's Tough to Be a Bug, which is in the Tree of Life. The Festival of the Lion King was located in Camp Mini Mickey, and now it has its own theater in Africa. There was Countdown to Extinction, which is the dinosaur ride today. It's basically the same, a few changes, but overall it's still the same, and that's located over in Dinoland, USA. The Boneyard, which is like a little kids play area where they can go search for dinosaur bones over in Dinoland, USA. You have Kilimanjaro Safaris, which we will have a fast pass for in a little bit. You have the Gorilla Falls uh, Exploration Trail. And you had the Wildlife Express to Conservation Station, but right now that is under refurbishment. It was uh, rumored that it was going to be closed forever, but then Disney announced that it is going to be coming back. So that was an opening day attraction, but we cannot do it today because it's closed. But right now, I have a fast pass for Festival of the Lion King. You today to welcome you one and all to the Festival of the Lion King. <laughs> Of retention. 
Press wet to Warthog's backside. But thick as you are, pay attention. I say that the Festival of the Lion King is my favorite show in all of Disney World. I truly feel like it's the best show. Like that's a Broadway like style show. Like production level is so high. The singers are amazing. Like if you've never seen that show, you have to see it. Every time you go into that show, people are just crying all over the place. Next up on the opening day attraction list is It's Tough to Be a Bug over at the Tree of Life. Originally when this park opened, there was 12 attractions. And now, like I said, only seven of them are here and six of them are operating. But basically, until like a couple years ago, this park was considered a half day park and it would close like around six or seven every night. It didn't start staying opening till nighttime until a couple years ago. And now it's one of the most popular parks. I think it's the second most popular in all of the four Disney theme parks with Magic Kingdom being first. It's tough to be a bug starring flick and a cast of a million billion bugs now remember i cannot film in this attraction so i won't be showing you guys but basically if you really want to see it i'm sure there's somewhere on youtube that has this show i will show you guys this this is what the theater looks like it's pretty cool and then flick is gonna come down from the ceiling and then hopper is gonna come right there that's such a good show. I love going to that show just to see people's reactions during the during the show because they get really freaked out because at one point in time it goes completely dark and there's fog and smoke everywhere and spiders come down from the ceiling and then hornets sting you in the back and it's really funny to hear everyone screaming and all the kids crying and parents scrambling to get out of the theater. It must have been really scary when this opened back in 1998. is my favorite section over here in Animal Kingdom. That's just one of the reasons those those guys performing are always so hyped up. They're always dancing. They're always getting the crowd involved. It's always amazing over here. But now it's time for my fast pass for Kilimanjaro Safari. So Kilimanjaro when it opened was the main attraction and main focal point of Animal Kingdom. This is about five feet tall. The males also have vertical spiral horns which are about six feet long. Slope, those are the bongos. They're nicknamed the ghosts of the forest because of those horns. In period, they only give birth to one at a time. And they typically weigh about 50 to 100 pounds of birth. Those little wild dogs, they're nicknamed painted dogs because of these beautiful black and white spots. And they are beautiful, but they're also quite full of Africa, and they're kind of known for these kind of jagged, irregular looking. 10,000, that makes African elephants the largest land animal in the world. Now, I don't quite know. Uh, elephants, by the way, have a 22 month long gestation period, so they are pregnant for about two years. Always a great time on the Kilimanjaro Safari. You can actually fit all of Magic Kingdom plus all of the World Showcase in that one attraction. Next thing on our list is the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. This is basically just a wildlife trail where you can walk around and see different animals. We're gonna see some gorillas, hippos, uh, monkeys, birds, stuff like that. Out in Asia, they have the Maharaja Jungle Trek where you can see tigers and water buffalo. Everyone always loves to look at the monkeys. These are the called the Colobus monkeys. Oh, oh, there's a baby. There's a baby monkey right there. 
This right here is actually an enclosed space. There's a net all around us. And you can go in and pick up one of these bird spotting guides. And there's birds flying all around. They're kind of hard to see because they're all hidden in the trees right now. Here's a better view of the net all around. And then they also have some cool colorful fish down here. Bird actually just pooped on somebody. So if you come in here, you got to be careful because these birds are flying all around you. You might get, you might get a surprise. There are so many people trying to see the hippos right now. I'm not really sure why because I don't even see any hippos in here. Maybe he went away. Maybe he walked back there. But this is a hippo skull. They say that hippos are the most dangerous animals in Africa because they're so territorial. They don't eat meat. They're like, they're vegetarians, but look at these teeth. At every zoo I've ever been to in my entire life, people are always lined up to see the chimpanzees and the, and the gorillas and the monkeys. Those always have the longest line. People are always watching them because they're so much like humans. They do like human-like things and it's really weird. Well, we've done almost everything that was here on opening day. We just need to go over to Dino Land USA now, ride Dinosaur, which was called Countdown to Extinction back then, and go into the Boneyard. You want to see the Meerkats cruising on the coast? Welcome to Dinoland USA, the friendliest fossils in America. So I guess first things I'll head into the boneyard. There's not much for me to do in here, but I'll just uh, show you guys around pretty much. It's basically just a little play area. They have like this spongy floor and uh, kids can just come over here and play. Go on slides. Learn about some dinosaurs along the way. They have some dino facts. But yeah, just basically a little area for kids to come in and play while parents sit back and relax. Now, I may be wrong, but I thought I remember this place. Is, uh, you can play around and stuff, but I thought that kids could also like dig in the sand and search for dinosaur bones. Let me know in the comments if you remember that, because I, I remember that from something. Okay, but let's head over to Dinosaur, the Dino Institute. But check this out real quick. This sign right here, Diggs County, US 498. 498 is April of 98 when Animal Kingdom opened. Usually when there's ever like numbers or an obscure word around the parks, usually they have some meaning behind them. All right, last attraction on our list of opening day attractions here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now I heard that when this attraction opened, when it was called Countdown to Extinction, it was super crazy. The ride was like very rough and it was pretty scary. And then soon after, it opened they kind of tuned it down because it was just too intense and so now it is the tuned down version but i'm interested to see what that crazy version would have been like right here it says the dino institute dedicated april 22nd 1978 april 22nd is the opening day of animal kingdom and it was opened in 1998 i'm not too sure what 1978 means that far dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago Today, that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. Hello there. You see these tubes right here? They have the chemical formulas on them for ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. All right, here we go. Alright guys, and with that ride, we have completed the challenge. We did every single opening day attraction that is still here at Animal Kingdom. And I feel like I need to eat at an opening day restaurant over here, so I'm gonna eat at the Quick Service Flame Tree Barbecue. A lot of people love this place. I don't think I've ever eaten here, actually. Okay, so here's what I got. I got the pulled pork sandwich, and I got, because it is Animal Kingdom's birthday, 
got a cupcake it's a uh, apple cinnamon uh, caramel something something about that apple cinnamon caramel cupcake looks pretty good great lunch over there at flame tree barbecue i need to go back to that place more often i have really good food i've never been back here in this part of animal kingdom i never even knew this existed you learn something new all the time all right, you guys, that is going to do it for me today over here at Animal Kingdom on Animal Kingdom's birthday, Earth Day, April 22nd, 21 years to the day that this park opened in 1998. I had a really good time doing all of the opening day attractions that are still here at this park. We got to eat at Flame Tree Barbecue, which was open on the day this park opened. And overall, just a really great day. Crowds weren't bad at all. Um, weather was really nice. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's not too hot, about 75 degrees. We got to see Imagineer Joe Rody, which I've never seen him in my life, and that was really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, just give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. And it's kind of fun to do the impossible. I'll see you guys on the next video.